first things first. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, welcome back. Here we are again. I will, I promise I'll do a, a live soon. They were always fun, weren't they? So, I today am taking you through how we did the trailer. Um, I am taking a lot of credit for this because ordinarily my husband does a lot of the more manual jobs like making jumps and things but I have done pretty much all of this so uh, I'm gonna just take you through how I turn my trailer from this I'm gonna put a little picture up here hopefully into this uh, I just I love it so much um, it's so me as well it's not it's not to everyone's tastes Susan <laughs> But it's definitely to mine so uh, let's get into it so I'm just gonna talk through a little bit about uh, what it is okay so it's a it's an Ifa Williams 505 that I bought for oh I think 1100 pounds um, I didn't have to go too far to pick it up but it certainly didn't look like this. Um, it was oh, up together and ready to go, wasn't it? From a really genuine buyer as well, seller, sorry. Um, it was from a really genuine seller and, oh, it just, it, it needed a new floor. Anyway, we'll go through that in a moment. So obviously the paintwork has changed considerably. Um, I sanded everything off. I've hopefully got a photo of that to put in. I then painted two coats. Excuse these flowers, they're for my jumps. <laughs> I did two coats of this dark battleship grey. That was the first thing I did. And I toshed it on and it dripped like a good one. You'll see in places, um, it's a learning curve. You'll see in places like the finish, if you catch it in the wrong light, is not great. Uh, but you know, I'm learning. So that was a massive learning curve. So it was this Witham Battleship Grey. The next thing I did was, oh, I put the stripes on. So they are from Stripe World on eBay. And the decals I got for my birthday, which you can pick up from any good printers if you've got a logo or your name i think i'm actually gonna put maybe the facebook and instagram accounts on the back and maybe a panel that panel there uh for sponsors um which would be really nice i'm currently looking into that and how much room i've got so after i'd done the stripes and the decals i oh i painted all of the silver bits so all of this silver metal work I used an entire tin of Hammerite, this paint right here, and I painted it straight onto the metal. I even did like the little fixings, they were all really rusty. I used the end of the brush for those and just kind of like dabbed it in, um, particularly around here, that one I've done really badly, and this stuff at the top where it's like brushed aluminium you can easily clean that back so i've started cleaning it back here and i am going to finish that but it's obviously not like it doesn't take five minutes so and i painted all the springs the board with the lights on everything even the wheels i painted everything with that hammer right and i used that entire tin so i didn't do any of the frame underneath or any of the metal work on top so if you wanted to do that, you would definitely need another tin. These need to go back on. These are the wheel caps. They were originally gray. Um, I've painted them with this really ancient tin of black gloss paint, um, which, you know, is entirely up to you. And then to finish it off, I, cause you need to lacquer it. If you don't lacquer it, it stone chips really easily. You'll see there, see that stone chip. The paint will come off if you don't lacquer it. I've driven around with it like 
unlacquered for a while. So this is metal lacquer clear gloss from Arkwright Paints. They, I got that off eBay and I added to that this. Do not add the entire bag. I was going to throw it all in. Gary's like, no, don't, don't throw it all in. Uh, don't throw it all in because this is just enough. This is one coat as well. I think the the glitter fan in me wants to do another coat but I also did the wheel cover thingies so the uh, wheel mud guard things with the glitter lacquer and these I did with the glitter lacquer I've got glittery nails as well look sad isn't it I'm like 34 years old um, basically everything that isn't on the move got painted in glitter um, and so that that's really everything I went through quite a lot of paint brushes because I'm rubbish at soaking them and that's pretty much everything I've done to the outside oh I replaced let's take you back around here I replaced these uh, little handle caps which obviously I painted in glitter and um, oh I got a new bellow which is this part which again obviously painted in glitter um, so new little handle covers and they were like a couple of quid um, and these bolts we replaced because they had actually shorn off when we tried to take them out which um, was not ideal so um, painted all the back of the light things as well. That's been in a bit of a ding. Um, someone's hit something with that one. I will eventually replace the whole lot, but it's money, isn't it? So that's pretty much the outside. Don't really have much else to say about that. I didn't replace anything uh, in terms of lights or anything like that, but cheers. One last thing. I did get these trailer ties because I didn't want crappy old baler twine on the outside of my box so i got those they were like two for six pound fifty or something i think of amazon which you know do the job don't they so now the inside um i haven't done a huge amount to this mainly because well a i ran out of cash um but b what i want to do is going to take quite a bit of time so I have recovered and repadded these panels. This was so easy to do. It just pop, like pops out of a corner. So you just kind of like drag it down. The old stuff comes straight out. I used some old off cuts from Gary's work. And this is like a faux PVC leather finish. I'd have loved to have enough to do this, but... It was an off cut and that is an arse ache to get off because the bolts all shear off when you take them off. When we lifted the mats, sorry, I should have cleaned this. When we lifted the mats, there was a checker plate floor down, which looked as though it had an aluminium floor, only it didn't. It was checker plate over rotten wood, which, oh, that's my feet, which isn't ideal, is it? So I had the floor stripped back and replaced by a company called Field View Trailers. They're local to me, but they are a company that I haven't used before, but I'm so impressed with the service. I got photos of everything through all the process and he has a really cute dog as well. So that had to be replaced. I've put a mirror on the inside of the door. Oh, hello. I've put a mirror on the inside of the door. Um, I've put a new light in. Um, this just, there's so much I want to do with the inside. It's just, it's just the money, isn't it? So, um, I, that needs some oil on it. That is my box of stuff that I would like to turn into a bench seat with a pad on it. Um, so, that houses all of my like non everyday competition gear. This trailer is uh, securely locked overnight. Um, and we live in the middle of nowhere. So um, 
yeah oh i bought these little hooks to hold the partitions back um i'll only ever travel one horse in here so i don't actually i don't want to ever be in a position where i need to put a horse in this so this is going to be hopefully fitted to the wall and i'll kit it out really nicely because obviously we're going to be squeak traveling with george quite a lot so we're going to need somewhere that's undercover for him and i and gary to um not get wet So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much everything I've done. The floor I got done at Field View Trailers in Market Raisin, and oh, they were just amazing. The guy came out and he's like, oh, I'll try and patch it if I can. And then I just, I, I couldn't believe I bought another vehicle that needed a floor. Um, but I, do you know, I'd rather be safe. And I paid £350 for the floor, which was a cost I didn't really want to have, but it's definitely worth it for peace of mind, isn't it? So £350 for a new floor, that was fitted as well. Um, we've reused the rubber. I bought that metal strip um, on eBay, I think it was like 13 quid. Um, and and I tidied up the rubber skirts as well. They were a bit frayed around the edges. I just cut them with a Stanley knife. Um, essentially, minus the floor, you could turn your trailer, if you didn't need a new floor, you could turn your trailer into something really quite special for, I think I've spent less than 60 quid. So for less than 60 quid, you could make a really nice job of this. You could probably paint it better than I did as well. So that, ladies and gents, is that. And I will see you again soon.